So DERs on the grid are going to continue to increase in number, in form factor and in their capabilities. So whether it's an HVAC unit or a heat pump or solar panels, energy storage, or even EVs, they're all essentially DERs. Utility field networks typically aren't designed to manage the hundreds of thousands of endpoints. And the manufacturers, well, they aren't necessarily prioritizing utility protocols and connectivity, you know, when the cloud is so readily available. So for Excel Energy, being able to have reliable visibility and control to this magnitude of endpoints will very likely need to leverage the internet and the cloud. And now to be clear, the end solution will very likely be a hybrid of cloud and private networks, a combination of direct control, aggregators, and even aggregator of aggregators. Crackerflex has a modular platform with flexibility to address DERs by a number of combinations of protocols, communication mediums, and with or without you know, the additional hardware necessary. Crackerflex is a software platform that connects assets like batteries, electric vehicles, heat pumps, solar and wind with financial markets where these assets can generate value for their owners. We focus on segments where we can have the biggest impact, such as renewable infrastructure, industrial processes where we can help decarbonize manufacturing, and retail where we can support electrification of heat and transport. Crack and Flex can create value for anyone that consumes and generates electricity. And we do this by matching the consumption and generation of electricity in real time to help decarbonize the grid. It is equally important that we control when we use electricity so that we can move our consumption pattern away from the times when we don't have sun and wind towards the times that we do. A standard procedure in Crack and Flex, we held meetings with the client, in this case Excel, to confirm what they need, the size requirements and specifications. Once we agreed on these details, we did our initial design, which was presented for, to Excel for approval. With the design done, our commissioning engineers configured the hardware and prepared it to be shipped to the USA. The Excel project was broken into four stages. Firstly, data collection. This ensured we understood the asset, in this instance, a battery that we needed to communicate with from a protocol, security, and also compliance perspective. What we're then able to do is roll into phase two, which is around the configuration and suitable integration. This can be cloud to cloud or a combination of cloud to local control hardware. We opted for the latter because it gave Excel Energy more control, security and resilience around management of that device and also a number of fail safes if they wanted to pull our connectivity and control of that asset. The third phase is the deployment on site where we connect up the asset and test that it can work within the parameters that need to be adhered to for Excel Energy. And finally, the running of a number of case studies to validate that a cloud-based distributed energy resource solution can effectively control assets for things such as demand side response, peak shifting, uh, economic factors, and even carbon offsetting. Once an asset is connected to the platform, users can access, control, optimize the device through a web browser and an intuitive user interface. As you grow your portfolio or fleet, this dashboard becomes more meaningful, could be put in a control center, showing status of all these different devices and sending automated alerting where there's an issue or a problem. Drilling down on any assets is, is quite simple. And I've got an example here of a site that's, that's responding to frequency demands from the grid to help keep the lights on and also generate revenue for the customer. Everything can be broken down into and all telemetry readings are available and tracked real time. And these then can be passed on to the relevant network operator, the relevant uh, internal department, but also all the data is stored in a data lake, which you can use for retrospective analysis potentially in the future, helping you enable things like predictive maintenance and also better management of assets to get the most economical output. For this demonstration, innovation was only part of the effort. Distribution engineering, enterprise security, and customer solutions did a lot of the heavy lifting. 
This concept is being proven well outside the norm of our operations. And, you know, Crack and Flex was patient, accommodating uh, to all of our requirements, and we really thank them for that.